Hello everyone, welcome to Revere Urban Homestead. Today, we are going to go out in the garden and we are going to harvest the sweet potatoes. Those things are still growing really well. They're not dying off or nothing, but they've been in the ground since probably July. July, August, September, October. Yeah, probably about four months now. They'll wind up just continually growing. So, we're going to harvest them today. That way I can move that raised bed out of the way because it's blocking my gate now that I had to move the fence and all that stuff. Before we go outside though, I want to show you our transplants. They're looking good guys, check it out. Look at this. Ooh, look at this guys. Awesome, look at how big these cucumber plants are getting. The cabbages, I mean, they're looking awesome. I might actually have to make some more room and spread them out a little. We're going to get all this stuff, I think, in the garden next weekend because it's getting too big for in here. I just hope that the weather cools down some because this stuff does not like hot weather. It's almost, I, I could almost just grow it in here and eat it, but I don't want to. I want to grow it outside. But looking good. Alright guys, I apologize in advance because the wind is blowing around here today. I think it's from that tropical storm Felipe or whatever it is. But let's go out here, I'll show you what we're going to harvest today. Hi Callie. Right here. These sweet potatoes have been growing like crazy for four months in here so I want to move this bed out of here maybe put it down there because it's blocking now my new my fence so Big Beast is working very nicely barely has to work but anyway so we're gonna cut these plants we're gonna cut all the tops off and then we're gonna dig in man get our hands dirty and let's see what we got now these slips that I got in July were from my neighbor next door Ryan he is now at college but he was growing remember the potato and the the slips were growing off of it and we just stuck them in here man in July and I haven't done anything to them I haven't watered I haven't nothing I've done nothing I just left them and literally I mean they're growing all the way over to there the vines just beautiful so anyway let's see if we got some sweet potatoes down there I don't know if you can hear my chickens in the backyard but they're going off right now you might not be able to hear it though because of the wind anyway I hope you can hear me I'll check obviously before I upload so what we're going to do now is just clip all the tops off of the sweet peas, sweet potatoes. So let's get in here. Actually, we can probably just pull them off. We don't have to clip. <laughs> I threw away one. Look at that. Here's a little guy. Let's see what we got. Holy cow, guys. Look at the size of that one. That is awesome. All right, guys, so not very big production at all, but all them vines and all that box and all we got is these couple. This is a big guy. This will feed the family in itself at least one meal. So all we're going to do now is just set them in the garage. We'll let them cure for a couple of weeks because then the starches turn to sugars and then they become sweet. You eat them right away, they'll be very bitter. So... We're going to just let them sit in the garage for, I don't know, 
maybe about four or five weeks and just let them chill and then we'll we'll eat them but I didn't do anything to that bed like I said it was just left there these things just kind of grew so hey, get a couple of sweet potatoes right it's all good homegrown even though there's only a couple <laughs> we'll probably uh, get this bed planted out next week um, get all the lettuces and all the cabbages we're gonna just load this thing up with them I got these just sitting dormant got the wood chips on top of them and underneath still nice and moist under there oh yeah my Korean dark green plant is still producing peppers not as big as they were earlier in the season but still producing peppers I got about a whole bowl full out of it the other day so we got some Korean dark greens to eat for sure and then one last thing over here is my watermelon plant that just started growing this thing is huge man it's vining out it's flowering all over the place I don't know if it'll produce any watermelon it's kind of the wrong season to grow it but hey it wanted to come up there you go and then we got to take this covering off of this bed next weekend and amend it. Alright guys, so anyway, I thought I was going to get a lot more harvest than that. I mean, I got a handful. One big one, a couple little ones. Hey, potato, potato, it's all good. We still got them out of our garden. We're going to eat them in a couple of weeks, and um, we'll keep moving on. This bed, I'm going to move over here. I might fill it up and plant carrots in it because it's nice and deep. So this will probably be the carrot bed over there here in the next couple of weeks. So we got to get that rolling too. But anyway, just a quick little video, guys. You see how it is. I don't show you just success, obviously. I still show you. I show failures too. And... You could take it as it is. I'm not starving for food, so getting those couple of sweet potatoes, hey, it's gonna be all good. We're gonna eat them, we'll enjoy them, but I can go to the store and buy some if I need to. You know what I mean? So yeah, all these vines for just some couple of sweet potatoes. It's all good, that was a spider crawling on my arm. <laughs> But anyway, you guys have a good day. We'll see you next week. Hopefully it won't be as windy, so maybe you can hear me better. You guys have a good day, though. Take it easy.